So, as you can see, we have two supers to pull honey that we pulled off of the, the hives. One, two supers. This top one here is real heavy. It's probably about 100 pounds. It is full. I was just loosening these frames. Every one of these frames is full, capped on both sides, full of honey. The bottom, the second super, isn't quite as full. Um, but you can see these frames are pretty full. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna uncap them in here and then stick them in our spinner. And the spinner, if you wanna film, put your camera in there. So that once you take the caps off, you slide them in like so, down this, and you put one on each side. And then, oh my gosh, we're gonna have honey everywhere. Can't wait. <sighs> so once you have one on each side, so it's got this handle on it that you spin. You wanna put the camera in there so they can see? So it spins around, so you spin it and then you flip the frames the other way so that all the stuff on the one side goes out. Or, if you're smart, you create a little attachment that sticks on there on your drill. And then when that goes on the pegs, to spin it. So we'll get started. And then as the honey fills up in the bottom of that, you open this gate, drips down and goes through the sieve. I have a bigger sieve, but it doesn't, it didn't flow through very good. So I use this one with a little bit wider openings and it flows in and fills this bucket up. And then when you're ready to bottle it, you take the bucket and you open the gate on this one and pour it in. So so Jesse, what is this sieve, like what is this for? Maybe you can tell people. That's gonna get out the little chunks of wax, any little bee parts or pollen or, actually the pollen will go through there, but any chunks of wax on the frame that go in or if there was any bee or brood or a wing, wing or a leg or something like that. I think since this is the first year with these frames and they're real clean, I'll be able to see if there's any little pieces of bees. So. When I took these frames off, I did a pretty good job of getting all the bees off. And then when I had them left here, just in these boxes, there were still about a dozen or so. And so what I did was I took these boxes out this morning when it was nice and cool out and flicked all the bees that were still remaining off of the frame. So there should be no honey bees in our garage right now. Jesse, do you want to tell everybody real quick how you got all of the bees off of here from the start? So these frames were on the hives and you put on what's called a fume board, which I made one. And it's just like basically like a top cover, like one of these types of covers. And it sits over the frames. So it sits right on top of it. And it's got felt on the inside and you use this stuff that smells kind of like almond extract that you spray on there. And then you put it outside, it's painted black on the top so it heats up from the sun. And that creates these fumes that the bees don't like and it pushes them down the frames and out the entrance. In theory, it should be a little bit hotter sunnier day than the day I did it, but after about five, 10 minutes, you take the fume board off and there's only maybe a dozen bees instead of a couple hundred bees. You pull it off, put your cover back on and quick put a cover over this. So as you can see, I have these sitting inside of a top cover and then I had this cover over the top of it so no other bees could get in and so they couldn't get out and fly around our garage. And we're doing this inside of the garage, which we cleaned thoroughly before yeah. coming in here and we're doing it in the garage for what reason? Uh, so that there's not a thousand bees and so that there's not honey all over the kitchen and, and you can't flies, tell, and, and flies and everything else. And you can't tell, but I've had the garage heater going. You can probably see sweat running off my face already. It's gotta be in the 90s or 100 degrees in this garage right now. But the warmer it is, the more the honey will flow. 
So the warmer, the better for extracting because the honey will go through the sieve faster, go out the extractor faster. And uh, so hopefully it'll be a quicker task. So. Sweet. Now y'all have gotten to see the beekeeper without the suit. I'm gonna stop this video and then we will get started. Uh, we'll get our hands and stuff all washed on up and start extracting. Get it going. Yeah.